What's up everybody? It is Aiken Mel and today I'm here to talk about today here today here today to talk about allegations. I'm the guy that hates math. That's why I'm the best guy to tell you how to do math because I don't know, I'm just awesome. So, today I'm gonna be explaining this. I've done two videos on this in the past. They were horrible videos, is when I was first started. You can see right here in the background. I just had a little notepad, I had the camera on top, no microphone, no lights, no nothing. It looked horrible! So today I'm here to do an awesome little video, awesome little treat. It's highly requested. I had a bunch of people asking me to do this over. Please do it again, please explain it, Melvin. Melvin, 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 Melvin. So, I'm here to hear today to tell you how to do it. I'm gonna put a nice on-screen display. I'm gonna do one problem, an IV problem. I'm gonna paint you the scenario. I'm gonna put the problem right on the screen so you can see up close. Pharmacy allegations works for IVs, creams, and whatever else you can think of, compounding, where you need to make a special type of compound that the manufacturer doesn't make, or maybe your company ran out of it. And there's been scenarios where even pharmacists don't even know how to do it, or they just forgot how to do allegations. So it really helps to know this. Also, pharmacy techs trying to pass that test, you are gonna get some allegation questions, and then you probably never use it again, because most pharmacies have cheat sheets seats but it still comes in handy i've been in plenty of scenarios where you had to know how to use allegations and find out the compounds for yourself here's the scenario okay we have a doctor he made an order for dextro 17.5 why mother why did you order this but he did he ordered this right so now you're busy you you're, you're, you're there's a bunch of ivs everywhere and you have to make this compound i got my glasses on so you know it's legit you know i know my math for this allegation problem for all allegations you need four numbers four pieces four bits of information remember that so you're going to work with dextrose 17.5 percent because that's what you need then you have the vials the dextrose 50 percent vials then the other ingredient you have dextrose 10 percent bag so you're going to have to use a combination of the dextrose 50 percent plus the dextrose 10 percent and then you need the volume that you want to make what is the doctor ordering is he ordering 500 ml 1000 ml so in this case he's ordering 500 ml so let's start off with a nice tic-tac-toe and the first step is you got to put what you need in the middle so dextrose 17.5% after that you want to use your ingredients so on the top left hand corner is dextrose 50% and under that is going to be dextrose 10% you always put the higher concentration on the top left hand corner then we got to cross subtract 50 minus 17.5 is going to give you 32.5 parts then you want to take 10 minus 17.5 and it's going to give you 7.5 parts now these parts are telling you how many parts of each individual ingredient you need but you have to add these total parts. So 7.5 plus 32.5 gives you the 40 parts. Now just to recap really quick and we'll go on to the next step. You put what you need in the middle, 17.5. You put the higher ingredient concentration on the top left hand corner, 50%. You put the D10 under that, dextrose 10%. Then you wanna cross subtract. So we got the 32.5 and we got the 7.5 and then you wanna add your parts. You follow me? All right, here we go. So you wanna take the total volume that we're using to compound, which is 500 mLs. You wanna divide that by the total parts, which is 40. Then you wanna take the 12.5 and you wanna multiply to the individual parts for each concentration. So the 7.5 multiplied by the 12.5 and then also 32.5 multiplied by 12.5, which is gonna give you 93.75 at the top and at the bottom it's gonna give you 406.25. So that's how many mLs for each individual ingredient you need to draw up and put together the compound to give you the concentration of 17.5%. Now, if you wanna take these two volumes and add them together as a double check, you can do that. If you add 93.75 and 406.25, that's going to give you the total volume of 500 ml which is the amount that you're trying to compound so it's a way to double check everything so i hope this video was useful it took me a lot of work to put it together it's a huge upgrade from the last two videos that i did over a year and a half ago a lot of people requested this so if you could do me the favor hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the share button share this with your friends and definitely comment down below and let me know that you thought this video was useful thought it was helpful i had a lot of questions on the previous videos so thank you guys for watching take care of yourselves and peace I see potential subscribers. Yeah.